ask us, oh, what is, <laughs> what is the gladiators for? And then we... Gladiator! Gladiator! really started with us looking at, you know, what are we doing in our church you know, to edify people that are, are no longer coming? What are some of the things that we are able to do in order to reach out to them? Uh, several things came to mind and several things were tried at, at our church, which included um, school supply drive, included uh, sending food to folks um, that were in need. Uh, it included uh, BBS, I'm sorry. The BBS was one of those uh, components that could be used to in, to get the youth excited. And as you get the youth excited, you bring the parents um, because the youth needed that. They needed to have that, uh, that the ability to to uh, come together and uh, enjoy each other's company. And if they were provided an avenue, perhaps the parents would come as well. So we, we did all that in the United States and we wanted to share our experience with them. Uh, that, was, that was really the, the main uh, driving objective for us with the uh, Ecuador retreat. material that we used really came from the book of Daniel and Ross brought these lessons out as we came out of the pandemic and, and really encouraged us to get back in the word and see where we have examples from the Bible of them struggling with major environmental changes and how we had to just trust in God and so that material was so moving um, that we actually asked our retreat leader, Josh Markham, and his wife, Julie, if they would consider using that. And it didn't take Josh very long, and he said it's perfect material, and I think it's great lessons that we can share with each other and the different congregations. We had 18 congregations uh, come to the retreat, and so it, it was really super encouraging and, and taught us more about our endurance race that we have to live. planning for 2020 and in the year 2020 was the 20th anniversary of the gladiator movie and we always try to pick a theme that is popular at the time and would really attract the youth and many of the youth we had spoken to talked about the gladiator movie and how exciting it was and so I took that theme and then twisted it and said how can we use that for God's work and so we came up with Gladiators of Grace. It was, a, it was an extremely uh, uh, 
fun theme to think about. The fact that, uh, you know, how you prepare, how Rome prepare the warriors to go out in battle and how God expects us to be prepared to battle Satan, the spiritual war. Um, so when we uh, when we talked about the theme, it was really a, an emotional as well as a, I think a very thought-provoking theme to uh, allow our the youth of Ecuador to realize we need to be prepared uh, in order to be successful against against Satan, and that preparation requires us to be in the Bible and learning from one another. And it also, of course, it gave me the fun times to build some activities that were gladiator type games and have fun with the kids because while the youth are there to study the Bible and become better Christians and better prepared for that spiritual battle, uh, we also are there to have a little fun with the kids. So it, it gave us the ability to do both. to see these children come to Christ. Um, uh, it's just a blessing to come here. I think it does, anybody who's never been on a mission trip, when you come down here and you see these children, you see the, re the receptivity of the gospel, it just warms your heart. And uh, I, I hope and pray that people who are able to come and be a part of this could do that at some point in their life. It makes a big difference uh, in your life. Yeah, danger, giants, battle is my story. But alone, I won't know. That's my glory. Shadows, you cannot hide me. Uh, my king will fight. The God of angel armies is always by my side.
are not hidden There's never been a moment you were forgotten El propósito comienza justamente aquí porque a través de este momento nosotros estamos diciendo sí a Dios y sí a esa transformación que, que necesita pasar en nuestras vidas. Y una transformación que obviamente dura hasta que Cristo venga o hasta que nosotros partamos de este mundo. Pero justamente esa transformación comienza a partir de este momento, a partir de un bautismo, a partir de, de una muestra de confesión donde estamos diciendo sí a Jesucristo. Send out an army to find you in the middle of the darkest night. given you um, and, and put that to use um, whether it's a, a skilled trade where you can go over there and make the camp better in terms of the uh, infrastructure or if you're a, you know if your gift is teaching um, if your gift is assisting a teacher or just um, you know being a, a prayer warrior and a cheerleader from back home um, maybe God's blessed you financially and you can donate in that way but You know, we all have we all have talents and um, abilities, and uh, just use that to serve um, in whatever way you can.
take my sunshine.